Chris Hadfield has now spent a full day on solid ground. One of the first items on his Earth to-do list, a long, hot shower, his first in five months. Hadfield still has weeks of tests, training, and reports to complete. But now that his time in space is over, how long will he continue to shine as Canada's most famous astronaut? Cameron McIntosh looks at that. Separation confirmed. From 400 kilometers up, it's a harrowing and dangerous ride down. Yeah, you can see the parachute coming down. And the but that didn't seem to phase Canada's space hero. All smiles, even when weakened by gravity, and certainly more famous. Thumbs up from Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield returning. I don't know that he realized that it would kind of be so popular with people that people would kind of feel the same feelings that he has about space travel. In orbit for nearly five months, Hadfield spent much of his time as International Space Station Commander. But you might as well call him International Space Ambassador. Brush my teeth, just like normal. Sharing his journey through YouTube videos, breathtaking photos, and inspiring tweets. Capping it off with the first music video shot in space. This is major time to ground control astronaut rock star being dubbed internationally as the most inspiring since the moon missions. Buzz Aldrin knows a little something about those. Is this the kind of personality that we need to get our young people excited again? Well, I, uh, I certainly hope so. Uh, things that are timely and things that are unusual catch the uh, public interest. In this Winnipeg Middle School, students are still excited after a visit two years ago and a chance to talk to Hadfield in space this year. He's a legend, man. He, and he came to our school. I'm just so excited about that. For Canada's beleaguered space program, it couldn't come at a better time. Its budget slashed $25 million this year, while the government's vision for the agency's future lacks specifics. We are uh, continually committed to uh, Canada's role in making sure that we're having uh, the, the greatest impact we can have on the world stage. He's doing all this himself, and it's so well put together. You know? This marketing executive says Hadfield is now a bona fide brand. Canada's space industry needs to leverage it. It's like having a great campaign for a product and then taking it off the shelf the next day if they don't continue to sort of support that. A Canadian astronaut won't blast off again for at least three years, but Hadfield won't disappear. Appearances are being lined up across the country. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Winnipeg.